We're going to take a quick look at XBMC for Windows using the PlayStation 3 Blu-ray remote control. For this demonstration we have a laptop with an extended desktop connected to an HDTV. After the PC configures the remote it will forever remain a recognised device. The remote will sync with the press of any button so be careful. The remote's battery will drain while it's connected to the PC so take care where you place it. To use the remote with XBMC we use a little program called PS3 Remote Application. Sounds obvious. We can configure XBMC's keyboard commands and shortcuts and assign them to a specific button on the PS3 remote. As you can see we have assigned the green button with a key combination that will open XBMC.exe so that we can run the application with the simple button press. We just have to simply enter the key combination into the shortcut key field of our XBMC XE. Once XBMC starts, the mouse cursor will disappear off screen and the remote will be controlling the interface. For those unfamiliar with XBMC, it's simply a matter of telling the program where your media is stored. You'll only need to do this once or whenever you add a new location for media. Since the remote control operates via Bluetooth as opposed to traditional infrared, it doesn't require line of sight with the PC. In fact you can use it from the other side of the house which is perfect for situations where the PC and home theatre are well away from each other. Of course the drawback with Bluetooth is that if you own an infrared universal or learning remote you won't be able to use it to learn the PS3 remote's commands. Once you've finished, it pays to disconnect the Bluetooth remote from the PC, and this is simply a matter of holding down the PS button for around 5 seconds. <laughs> 